Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are going to do another what sold video. I'm going to go over my recent sales here in the month of July. And first we have two items to pick from my inventory room. I can't let Michael come in here. He hates when I leave them kind of like poking out. It makes his OCD crazy. All right, first we need to go into box X. Ooh, good. Let's see what I need is right on the top. Love when that happens. All right, this is a Madewell dress. It was so cute. It is only a size zero. This came out of a thread up 200 pound bulk box. So I had a dollar and 50 cents into it. It sold on Poshmark for an offer I sent out of $26. And the other sale is going to be back here in box C. These are a pair of kids Sorrel boots. Didn't list them that long ago, actually. Here they are. I did leave it open because I had hand washed them a bit. And they're in pretty great condition. I had $5 into them from a local Goodwill. And I sold them on Kitizen for $43.95. So that shipping label will cost me $8.95. On Kitizen, it's $8.95 for up to five pounds. So my total, what I made from this sale was $30.25. And when you subtract out the $5, it's still a $25 profit. So that's why sometimes you might think, wow, a $43 sale, that's great, especially for kids shoes. You have to take into account how heavy things are. And these are definitely over a pound. So these two sales are ready to go out. I did want to mention, yes, on Kitizen, I could purchase a label elsewhere. I prefer to go straight through the app, even though some of the labels are a bit more expensive than, say, Pirate Ship. If you use a label within Kitizen, they only take their 12% selling fee from the cost of the sale, less the shipping. If you don't use their label, you're going to pay that 12% on the entire cost. So, it often ends up working out just the same or pennies different and not enough for me to have to take my time to then go back into the app and enter a tracking number. The only exception would be maybe if someone's like in Florida and I had to use the $4.45 four ounce label, which I'm really glad they brought back. Sometimes maybe it would be a dollar cheaper, but I don't too often have items that fall under four ounces anymore as I'm not really sourcing tiny tiny baby items. So just know, yes, you can use outside labels, but sometimes it's worth it to do the math to see if it's worth your time. Happy Monday morning. You guys will be seeing this video the same day I am putting it out. Shocker. But I hope you guys are having a wonderful start to your week. I know we are closing up summer vacation down here in Florida. Our kids go back to school in just about two weeks. So happy, sad. It's kind of a mix of all the things. I like not having the routine, but I'm kind of missing the routine. So since my last what sold video, I did not make as many sales. And I know that was a wonderful sales weekend, but Amazon prime days happened right after that. So I don't know about you, but my sales kind of came to a halt for a few days. And now at least down here, we just entered tax free for back to school. And I have purchased some, a lot of items that I typically look for on the secondhand market, even if they're new with tags. I've been purchasing a lot from retailers because the prices are just so good. So unfortunately, I feel like this little window of time right before school starts, sales do tend to slow down because people can get such great deals. Like I cannot offer a $3 t-shirt and free shipping like Old Navy or Gap can. So we're not gonna go over all of my sales. I think the that went up on the 13th of July. So it's been about 10 days. So we're just gonna go over ones that I feel like sharing, whether it's for the good reasons or the bad reasons. And I do love that more, more people tend to be watching my what sold videos, which those used to be my least viewed, but I'm happy because they do take a little bit to edit, but I think they're the most valuable, especially if you're watching like the current ones. My dog is having a moment. <laughs> all right. So let's get started. Uh, right after I filmed that last video, I sold this Coach card wallet. This came in my recent mystery gift company box. Uh, it was had a $7.60 cost of goods. It sold on Mercari for $34. If you're new here, I don't offer free shipping anywhere. So when I tell you what it sold for, just know it was plus shipping. 
I sold a pair of Kendra Scott earrings from my own personal wardrobe. They were just too heavy for me. I do remember that I purchased them from Marshalls, so I probably had 20 or $25 into them, and they sold here um, on Mercari for $35. We have been cleaning out our kids' closets this summer, and you know, if you watch any of my videos, you know I try to source items for my children that they're gonna wear and love, but they do hold their resale value, like these Hello Kitty Converse. My daughter loved these, and they sold on Poshmark for $20, and they were definitely in pretty worn-in condition. You guys know it's not a what sold video unless I sell some mini Melissa's. And I'm sharing this one because these were a Disney collaboration. Here they are, but they were in play condition. Like these were loved. I bought them in pretty used condition. My daughter wore the heck out of them, but they clean up so well with a magic eraser, blue Dawn dish soap, toothbrush in the sink. They sold on Poshmark for $20. All right, Lily Pulitzer, also in most of my what sold videos. Uh, this is something I'm, I was selling for a friend. She gave me a handful of her beach cover-ups and asked me to sell them. So I will be giving her half of the money, but it was this pink lace maxi dress. It wasn't exactly a cover-up. That's just what she used it for. And it sold for $56 on Poshmark really quickly. All right, this is a brand I I grew up knowing and I know I'm gonna say it wrong. It, it's like, I'll put it here, a teen Agner I always just call it Agner and I'm probably saying that wrong, but my mom always carried purses by this brand and, and I just I, it just always stuck in my mind. So I picked up this orange crossbody. Here it is for myself at Marshalls or Ross or somewhere like that. I used it one time, I just didn't like the length of it. So it was in great condition and it sold really quickly on Poshmark. Uh, it sold in, let's see, in a bundle. So it sold with a pair of Mukluk socks that I've had forever from a thread box. I had a dollar and 32 cents into that one. And this Foot Joy polo that I had, let's see, a dollar and two from a local bag sale. And I sold that whole bundle for $45. So that was wonderful because I had a total of $2 and 32 cents plus the cost of the bag, but I've had it for a couple years now. So I don't even know what I spent. These shoes have been around the world, literally. Um, they're a pair of M. Jemmy, which is a designer, great brand, but these were tiny. I think they were size six. These came to me in a thread up rescue box so long ago that I don't even have the date, a rescue shoe box. I had $6 into them. Here they are, but y'all, like I sent these to the real real. They came back to me. I sent them to the real real again. They came back to me and they sold on eBay. I decided to start cross listing some items over to eBay. And they sold for $39. So that was a win because I was about to donate them. But when I sent stuff into the real real, I just like hid them instead of deleting. Yay for that. Another pair of mini Melissa's. These I picked up at Once Upon a Child. I had $5 into them. They sold on Mercari for $19. I recently sourced a pair of Levi's 505 women's size 31 new with tags jeans from Style Encore when they were having a huge clearance sale. I had $8.18. I averaged my cost of goods that day and they sold on Poshmark for $25. I don't have luck selling Levi's like some people do. So I was happy with that. Right, I sold a NYX K-N-I-X pullover bra. They make the um, like the period panties and they do make some swimwear and leggings, and, but I didn't like how it fit. So I sold it on Poshmark. Oh, I sold it, I picked it up for $16. Sold it for $39. So even though I paid up at $16, which is still a fraction of what they cost on their website, I still made a profit of $13.63. So that was great. Another pair of mini Melissa's, um, these, were Molly's and they sold for $30 on Poshmark. These were a really cool style. I sold a pair of Converse pink suede one star shoes. These came out of a thread up shoe box. I had $6 into them and they sold for $35. And I love when I get sweet love notes. It said uh, they were in even better condition than they were expecting. So that's fantastic. I do try my best to disclose any flaws. I'm sharing this sale because if you follow along, you know I have had these Nike flip flops since Christmas and I could not give them away and they finally sold. It was this pair of Nike 
tan flip flops. They came out of a thread up shoe box, $4.83, and they finally sold for $12 on Poshmark. So I still made $4.22. Yay. This was a fantastic sale. I just picked these up last month. I showed them in a haul video. They were a pair of Vans Toy Story collaboration. I took you along with one of my thrift with me's. I did pay up for them at $30, but I just had a feeling that they would sell for, my hope was like the $75 mark. Comps showed them around $100. Uh, I priced mine at $125 just to be generous because I knew I was gonna send out offers. I got a couple lowball offers, but I just completely ignored them. And at 2 a.m. Uh, a few nights ago, somebody purchased these for my full asking price of $125. I got up in the middle of the night to let little Miss Bianca out and saw the sale, but I didn't get too excited because I'm like, they probably bought these while they're drinking. Maybe they're on vacation at Disney. I don't know, but I'm gonna wake up to a canceled sale, but nope, sale went through. I shipped them real quick. So I was still able to make quite a profit even though I paid up for those. So moral of the story, any Disney collaboration with Vans, even if they're in bad shape, I say pick them up. This, uh, the brand Castique, is, I always buy their bras when I find them for pretty cheap. I won't pay up, like I paid $5.25 for this one at Goodwill. I'll only stick to picking them up at the bins from now on, but it did sell for $16 on Poshmark. This sale I wanted to share, I know I've said it before, but especially kids items, if you have play condition kids items, but it's a cool item, still listen, people will buy them. This was a pair of Under Armour sneakers. They were a hand-me-down from my sister for my son. He, these were his PE shoes. So he wore them three or four times a week, every single day of the week for this entire last school year. So they were loved. I washed them. They still were great looking, but I did disclose like these were loved. Look at the soles, but they had some staining on them. Anyway, they still sold, where did they go? for $11.85 on Kitizen. So at the end of the day, I still was able to make a profit and they were free to me because my sister gave them to me, but retail, these were really expensive. That's why I don't remember the name of them. You will have seen them, but somebody else wanted some play condition sneakers, probably to send in their kid's gym bag. It didn't take long to, to take photos of shoes. And to me, it's worth it to make, what did I make? $3.90. That doesn't even buy you a cheeseburger anymore, but hey, it adds up. All right, in my last what sold video, I showed my huge pile of inventory on the floor that needed to be put away, and this dress was sitting there, and it has since sold. Another Lily Pulitzer dress from my girl's closet. Here it is. This one sold on eBay for $46. A little girl's dress. It was size four. And that was fun. fantastic. That was my little, one of my favorite dresses of hers. All right, I recently hauled a pair of Keen toddler, toddler size nine sandals. I picked these up at Goodwill for $5, sold on Poshmark for $19. The thing with Keens is I only pick them up if that little sticker with a size dot is inside. Otherwise, it is really hard to figure out what size they are. So always check that. And sometimes even if the shoe looks in great condition, that will still be worn off and gone. I learned the hard way on that. All right, the last sale I'm gonna share with you guys, I sold a Patagonia teal women's jacket. This came out of a thread up 200 pound box, which I would love to buy another one of those. They are $400 for 200 pounds. Sometimes they go on sale, but it's just a lot. And maybe I'll do one again before the end of the year. You guys seem to like those videos and you do find some gems in there, but it is just, it's a lot at once and it's a lot of work. And now that I can't do partner kits the way I used to, like it's not upfront payout, I don't know that it's really that worth it. But at 86 cents into this jacket that ended up selling on Kitizen, I had a lot of interest on all platforms and it sent out a lot of offers, but someone sent an offer to me of $45, which might sound a little low, but it had a snag in it and it had a couple stains. So it wasn't in perfect condition. So that was a great sale to only have 86 cents into it. All right, so it is early on Monday morning. I, I already showed you the two things I packed up last night at the very beginning of the video. So I'm hoping I have a few more sales come through. I will be feverishly listing kids items for the rest of this week. We are in the middle of kid economy. It officially started today, but signups were the other day. And 
Not expecting a lot of sales on Kitizen from it, but what it does do is light a fire under my tail to get items listed. The more you list, the more you sell. That's just the name of the game, but I am putting a focus on kids items, especially new tags kids stuff or higher end kids things for back to school time. So I hope you guys have a wonderful sales week. Uh, where's Bianca? She needs to come make an appearance in the video before I go. Cause everyone loves to see little Miss B. Hi, she's doing so good. You guys, her and Arlo are playing nonstop. Here she is, thank you, Miss Molly. There's Bianca, good morning. Say so she slept for her longest, what? Oh, Molly wants me to show you. She has her toenails painted. Michael painted them, you guys. He is just smitten over her and I love it. Uh, she slept from 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. without whining and no accidents. Oh, it's a miracle. <laughs> All right, guys, we will see you in the next one. Bye.